Hello and welcome back to Massey! Fact! When we last left off, we had just defeated the Thorian on planet Pharos and gained the Cypher, which allowed us to turn our jumbled vision into a slightly less jumbled vision. And now that we're done with that, it's time for a talkathon. So, first, let's check in with our dear old pilot, Mr. Jeff Moreau. He's just here, piloting away. Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. I have to go. Alright, see ya. Your insights are always welcome, Mr. Moreau. So now it is time to run back down this hall, look at the people who are on there. I wonder what those people do. You know? What do they do? What's their job? What is their function? Like, are they also helping fly the ship? Just... What do they do? I need to know. First, there you are, Psyduck. My little piece of man-animal. Let's chat. Do you have some time to talk now, Commander? Of course. Have a seat. We've played it pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying. Try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. That's not the appropriate way to address your commanding officer, Lieutenant. Sorry, ma'am. Maybe I got a bad signal. And if you're a... Maybe there's someone else you'd rather confide in. Ma'am. All right, Alenko. Off the record, permission to speak candidly cross my heart and hope to die. What are you talking about? Uh... Doctor to Sony, ma'am. There's a lower deck rumor that she's uh, interested in you. It's more than a source of Prothean data. She's a very interesting lady, to my uh, tastes, but uh, I never claim to be big on alien culture. You seem awfully worried about my personal affairs. It's just that we don't have much downtime these days. I like being around you, but I, I don't want to take up your personal time. Look, there's nothing between Liara and me. What's the real issue here, Caden? You're right, sorry. It wasn't, uh... Liara's not my main concern. I'm not questioning any decision you've made, Shepard. Let me be clear about that. It's just my experience that once someone lets something slide, it tends to pick up speed. You get my meaning? I literally don't get his meaning here. Does anyone get his meaning here? I've had this conversation a few times now, because I've played a few woman shepherds, but... What's he saying? Talk to me, Caden. You got a little black rain cloud sitting over your head. I'll try to keep the deck dry. You know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified. Because the Alliance made mistakes. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy in the Citadel, the natives could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. Okay, I guess the awkward flirting is over and it's time for more life story. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. For hell, it took a couple of years to even link biotics and ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. The only experts would have to be aliens dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. The Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. Introduce himself, he liked to say, I was at the helm of the dreadnought that killed your father. Well, I told him my dad wasn't in the war. He'd retired to Vancouver. My family had an inland home that matured to New Beachfront. Vernus had it in for me after that. He cut corners, pushed hard. I mean, you either came out a Superman or a wreck. A lot of kids snapped. A few died. The point of all this, I guess, is that when you cut corners, it's not always obvious who pays for it. So why are you telling me this? 
Is there something I can do to help you get over it? I'm 32, Shepard. You don't serve as long as I have without coming to terms with yourself. You also learn that if someone is special to you, you help them. Try to keep them from making mistakes. Special, huh? If I'm out of line, just say the word. Okay, it's time to solidify this thing. No going back now, we are entering flirt territory. You're not out of line, Caden. But there are regs. I get you, Shepard. I don't make a habit of complicating the chain of command. Just think about what I said. Very slow flirt territory. Very slow flirt territory that takes a long time to get into, so... What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. One of my cousins has an agribusiness. I was thinking of calling him. Maybe he can get some shipments into Pharos. I mean, now that they're cut off from the company. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. So there we go. Everything is escalating now. We are making friends and influencing people. Hey there, Traquas. Oh god, I needed that Medigel. Whew! The Yara! Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be You're in good hands. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. We don't have the luxury of time, and Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did during the Blitz. It was a remarkable display of courage and heroism. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. You're interested in me because of my visions. You just want to know more about the Protheans. I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Elenko. I care about Caden. A lot. I thought so. Still, I feel as if there is also some attraction between us, Shepard. I'm not interested in you in that way, Liara. This is very embarrassing for me, Commander. Please, let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Give you some time to cool off, so there you go, I'm running around the ship, breaking hearts, and just embarrassing people. But, you know, I do this for you, Psyduck. Don't let me down. I've never actually romanced Caden before, I'm doing it on my personal playthrough as well, but it hasn't quite come to fruit yet. Um, so I don't know if this means that, you know... I won't be after. No, I won't be going after any hot Garrus Patuti in Mass Effect 2, or any of that Thane brain, <laughs> or anyone else. But you know, we'll see how much Caden pisses me off. If you piss me off too much, then I'm gonna get me some Rex over here. Oh, if only, if only. But for now, we'll just talk. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? 
Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war, but the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding, at least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. Sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Okay, so you can add Rex to the list of Bioware characters with parental issues, so if you had a finger dedicated to him, take it down. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard. Must be hard to stab a Krogan with a dagger. Uh, so, yeah, you know the drill. I'm just gonna sort everyone out. Let's get you all some lovely guns. Mighty Cobra. So, you have got your pistol, and I will give you some stuff for it. Do we have anything chemical? There you go, Liara. Oh, oh, oh! Gotta sort out the armor too. How could I forget? How could I forget? So, how is this? Let's get you a first aid interface. I want one of those. Do I have one of those? First aid interface. First aid interface. I don't have one. I want one. Thank you. Um. So, Tally, you get to have a shotgun. Let's give you the better shotgun. That would be a good idea. Might as well make that shotgun put out more heat. Do we have anything chemical? And now to check, do I have anything chemical? Yes, oh, but I can get chemical rounds three. Let's throw us some, there we go. Yeah. So, oh gosh, Tally. <laughs> Got to just keep to one thing, really, haven't I? There you go, new armor for you. Very good, what's this do? Uh, let's give you a shield battery. Rex. You can also have a shotgun, but you've already got one. So, ooh, we can do better than that. Recoil damper. Do we still have anything chemical? We can have chemical rounds too, that's fine.